What is jogging? As we all know, jogging is a healthy form of exercise practiced by many, which has been scientifically proven to bring many benefits to everyone. Thus, we made jogging as the scope of our main topic and finalized the subject of study as the satisfactory of student jogging routine in IIUM. So for this project, we did a survey in which we asked the students four questions. But the main question is, how many times do you jog in a week? And from that question, we got about around 80 respondents. But we have to cut off a few, and which, we, which left us with 50 respondents because of some outliers. So other than that, we, had, um, we stumbled upon some difficulties, reason why students don't want to jog. Some of them are regarding about the weather, whether it is too hot. But enough with the chit chat. Now I would like to call upon my good friend, Professor, uh, Professor Akmal, to talk about the benefits of jogging before we head into the data analysis. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be talking about the benefits of jogging. You know that jogging and running helps our body to burn calories and eventually helps to reduce the weight of our bodies caused by our excessive fats. Other than that, it also reduces the risk of bone loss that occurs gradually with age, breast cancer, and also stroke. Furthermore, it also increases the HDL, the good cholesterol that helps our body to use 50% of our lung capacity that usually go unused. Hence, uh, most doctors recommend three to four times job in a week so that we will increase our lung capacity, stamina, and most importantly, to burn the excessive fats in our body. So now, we'll go back to Nurudin. Whoa! Okay, so for the data part, we did a simple random sampling in which we can form various kind of uh, variable. But the variable that we took is the quantitative and the qualitative. So for the explanation, I don't want to go into details, but I will head it over to my friends at the data analyzer for the statistic. So off to you, Professor Harris. Oh, okay, wait. Why, thank you, Nuruddin, for the brief introduction. For starters, our main question is about the amount of times a student jog in a week. Not only we question the students through online, we perform expedition in questioning students on field as most joggers have little time to answer online. One of the locations we stumbled is at IIUM Sport Complex, where students jog on the running tracks. Let's proceed to the survey. How many times do you jog usually? In about four times or so. Uh, three to five times a week. I jog three times. In a week, I usually jog around three to four times. From these responses, we are able to obtain data that can form into a histogram. And in this histogram, we are able to calculate the mean, median, mode, variance, and finally standard deviation. From there, we have created a frequency table. Let's ask our health specialist, what is BMI? Well, if you must know, BMI stands for body mass index. We use it to know whether or not our body mass is in the healthy range. Generally, for adults, if their body mass index that range between 80.5 and 24.9 is considered to be within the healthy body mass range. So, from our data, we are able to form an Ogive chart with an average of 21.61. With this, also we are able to identify the median, mod, variance and also standard division. This shows that most students in IIUM live a healthy lifestyle. Moving on. Let's ask some question about their jogging distance. So in a week, how much in average do you jog in kilometers? Oh, kilometers, maybe five. Five kilometers. Yeah, around the campus. Right. Maybe six. Around three kilometers. Uh, three yeah. kilometers. Hmm, very interesting. Thanks to the respondents, we were able to form an old gift chart with tremendous result. From there, we can find the mean at 2.33, the mean in 1.88, the highest frequency which is 1.61, variance, and finally standard deviation. Surprisingly, 
most of the respondents chose the distance between the range of 1.4 to 2 kilometers. Enough with the distance, how about the period of the day? And what time do you normally jog during the day? Uh, usually from 5 to 6.30. Uh, during the evening. I jog in the evening after class 5 p.m. Around 5.15 until around 6.45 p.m. In our survey, we received numerous replies on the period of the day to jog. According to the graph, we can conclude that the most preferable time is during the evening at 66%, while the least amount is during the afternoon with 4%. This is because in the evening, the temperature is much more cooler and has a suitable brightness to prevent from tiredness. Since most people accumulate psychological stress as the day progresses, such as class, exams, and other concerns, this makes jogging an attractive choice. Now, let's see what's the opinion regarding jogging. In your opinion, how does jogging benefit us in terms of health, in terms of physical attributes? Well, it gets to improve our breathing and also we get to spend our time doing something healthy. It helps a uh, student to focus in the class and have a healthy body. It will uh, gain our stamina first, gain our stamina, and also for students, maybe it can help uh, us to focus more in the class. I think uh, jogging helped me to give confidence about our body, and at the same time, it can keep me healthy. Thank you, Imran. Okay, now to wrap things up. Okay, based on the survey, CFS students jog at an average of three times a week. In which I say it is a very good thing because it is the recommended times, amount of time a person should jog based on the World Health Organization. So for our project, I guess it's a total success, but it is slightly tainted with a few impurities in which we can reduce or fix. For example, the outliers can be reduced if there was less zero inside the data. In which I'm here to urge every single student to start jogging because Come on, it's for your health. If it's not for me, if it's not for the survey, then at least you can do it for yourself or like to strengthen your Iman. Because not as Muslim, not only do we need to strengthen our spiritual side, but also we need to strengthen our physique to be the best Muslim there is. So for that, till next time, I would like to say, stay healthy and keep on jogging. <laughs>